everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video the leaks and the leaks and more leaks this year has been the worst year for leaks on tractors and this tractor behind me has been the worst our newest tractor in the yard and it's been the worst for the leaks this year it's been a bad year for leaks one of the worst years for leaks i've seen in quite some time no, some of the tractors that normally leak or things that normally if you load and shovel normally leaks it hasn't leaked it this part fine 99 is leaking a little small bit we have new valves to go on it but it's just been a bad year for leaks but this tractor 7618 has been atrocious this year absolutely atrocious and the current problem and which will be solved today myself and Rory are just going at slurry but father phil is tackling into this now so i'll hopefully get her to get a bit of filming done but the current problem with this is there's an oil leak in underneath the cab and a bad one at that so it all started one well, of the last days bailing we come back into the yard here Roy was back in and parking up the baler and oh, the soil was there was a lot of oil coming from underneath it so we just knocked it off we were like no that just just can't we just parked it out way we knocked it off father phil come back next day went to investigate and see where the leak we couldn't see where the leak was just i was running down one side of it in the back end on the far side and father phil started it there's no leaks drove it warmed it no leaks at all thought we were mad so we were away piping sorry with it and we pulled on umbilical system with it and we had a pump in the back of the jeep real industrious like not driving two yokes on the road and when we got to where we were going when i pulled up in the yard she was dripping quite a bit not too bad but you know you didn't have to do something about this and anyways we stopped we took off the lawn loaded took off the trailer and just as we were starting to back back the trailer then she started pissing oil and we had to knock it off we had to make a few inquiries and turns out the reason why it leaked on us and then didn't leak when father phil was at it is the back end in the tractor has a thermostat for diverting the oil from the back end to the oil cooler in the front so when she gets hot enough the thermostat opens up she diverts the oil into the cooler and back and we have a bus pipe on the oil cooler line underneath the cab we think most of the oil comes off the far side comes down the far side where you can't really see with the diesel tanks so in there just in there is where most of the oil seems to come down figured that out and we actually ended up getting a parlor hose where we're working we just stuck it in over the back end we left it for about half an hour got a sandwich tea come back started up dry leak had stopped because the back end of cool down thermostat had closed we pumped with it for two days never lost any oil we drove back without the trailer because we thought maybe it was to pull the trailer got her warmed up and just as we were coming back into the yard because i was keeping a tie high on it she started leaking again but we were lucky we kind of got back into the yard the other major leak this tractor had was on the front suspension she was leaking out of the front suspension block in there and it was dribbling and then it wasn't dribbling and then the front suspension wasn't working and it was working we got that sorted but now this is a massive major oil leak father phil bought a camera so a camera on a wire to see could he see where it was coming from can see where it's coming from it could be a steel pipe it could be a uh, just a hydraulic hose when my sister seen that she said are we getting into colonoscopies or something she had a right laugh at it but um father phil couldn't see anything so the new the net the next thing now is we're just going to jack her up take off the wheels and see can we see inside see can we see in on top of the gearbox or the back end to see can we see what his bust it could be a hairline fracture on a steel pipe which could be next to near impossible it could be a loose fitting we don't know you just cannot get in there it it could end up being a very very big job a very big job it could be a nearly a cab up job but we aren't going to know till we get in a bit further but anyways father phil's going to whip the wheels off it and get a preliminary look and see what he can see anyways i'm going to go agitating we we'll catch up with Father Phil later. Hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, it's been a bad year for leaks. A bad year. And this tractor I, seems to have been the worst of the whole lot. The biggest offender. But if we get this one fixed, fingers crossed, it's the last one for a while. Anyways, 
for a bit of hunt. So, what are we up to? Ain't that handy, York? It is when you get into the spot you want it. With a fit joke. We are currently uh, trying to find where the hydraulic oil is leaking out of the 7618. Or, well, I, I'd go a, a step stronger than that now. Where the hydraulic oil is actually. <coughs> Cock a doodle doodle now of it. Look at the ground. It's where the hydraulic oil is flying out of it. Which which results in a uh, very low hydraulic pressure. It does not. It's a drive. You couldn't run it. You can do that way. <laughs> That's what I meant. Doesn't matter. Have you found the leak? So we have found our punch, our puncture. We have found our pothole on puncture. It is a burst pipe all the way in there, and it goes from the front axle to here. I think that thinks, and it's going to be a pain <laughs> to get out. Something like that. And then we have to order a pipe. Oh, we get a new pipe made up. Ah. Yeah. Fun stuff. So, we've been at this for what, another hour? Yeah, we found a damaged pipe, but I don't think it's the problem pipe. Yeah, well, um, we decided, there's a light there. We thought we had the right pipe. We pulled it out. Oh no, we tried to pull it out. Uh, couldn't get out, so we couldn't have. We pulled out the other end. No damage, but it was... He's damaged. Sorry, no blowout, but it was damaged. It's damaged, yeah. So we, we got lucky with that one. Yeah, right. You could and say. You have to get a pipe. have to go and do another tank. So, I'm back now. It's after another tank out. And how'd you get on after? I had, don't know a whole, whole arc film, but it didn't seem like a whole lot by looking at the memory. Spielberg was on a, an off day. An off day. An off day. <laughs> well, I suppose he'd done the bit top and so. Yeah, he Did he do any damage to the moor? No, I bet. No, no. No. He, he, he just pulled it. He's professing now in widening gaps and... <laughs> Oh, those lovely things. He forgot it was behind him. Yeah. Um, just on that, he he forgot the moor was a bit wider than him and um, got caught in a gate. But look at Ah, look at We've all done that at some point. Yeah. So anyways, so this was, this is the problem. So it wasn't even the problem we thought it was. No, it's not, no. It's a different no. problem altogether. It was um, nothing to do with the coolers or anything. This pipe is connected to the... Um, Front suspension. Sensing. No, load sensing. Load sensing and to the front suspension. I think by the plumbing, the way the plumbing is done on the tractor is all connected to the, this is connected to the load yeah. sensing. And it's, um, well, as you can pinched. see, yeah. Now, I didn't think that was leaking, but when I left it like that for a little while and had it all dried off, yeah, it was dripping. Dripping it was over. Dripping over. over. It's actually dripping over it. So, um, I was expecting to see a hole that size. Yeah. Not the amount of oil that was coming out. Not that. To get the pipe out, we had to cut it. Right. Because it was jammed under the tractor. So I put a new pipe into it. Yeah. We rerouted it down the left hand side of the gearbox rather than the right hand side this time. Yeah. So I can't get caught where I got caught before. Just had to cable tie it. I'm after washing the back end, have her topped up with oil. I'm just going to start her now and let her run there on the block. Filters changed. I have to change the filters in the morning. I'll change the filters in the morning. So whereabouts, Eva, can we see? There's. Um, we can't. It's a fair. There's a f there's a lot of pipes. Rory said to me when he come back up with agitator, he said it was just a sea of pipes. Oh, a sea of pipes, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a, a sea of pipes. It's quite actually hard. There's a lot of pipe work in there, so there is. Even though it was leaking on the left hand side of the gearbox, everything was on the right hand side. Yeah. It was um in there. It was stuck in there. In, in there. you can't even in there. Oh, yeah, I went under that steel pipe, and where I went under the steel pipe, it it got squished. It seems to be where it got a pinch. Yeah. Um. I hope that's what it is. You can get up on it there and start it out, and we'll run for a few minutes. See what happens. Just to see. We haven't run. I have run it once to see already, and it, it seemed to be all right. But I'm going to run there for a few minutes more now. Yeah. And, and so uh, the. Do you want to change the filters? And we we thought it morning. was it was the the. A pipe to the oil curve, it wasn't. It was just when that pipe got warm, then it got jummy and it just let it, it, it was able to. Oddly let enough, it, go. it was held it for 15 hours while we were pumping above. Yeah, which wasn't too bad. I suppose. Look at 
And you go home. Yeah, we'll go home. Bizarre. Ah, we'll, we'll, oh, we'll get it some of the days. Yeah, that seems to be. So that that was it, and hopefully that's the last leak. Well, there's one other spot that's very loose pipe on it. Uh, it just uh, we have a better look at it in the morning. It's actually easy got at, so it's not. Is it loose? Just loose on? Is it loose connection? Even though it's tight, it's yeah. just I don't know what. I don't oh, as in like you can rattle into the pipe, yeah, like it's, it's just, not. Yeah, it's not just. There's a tiny little bit of weep before, but apart from that, I can't see any oil. That would be destroying the whole back end of the tractor. Yeah. Because that could be coming down both sides. I both sides and, and tiny just, bit, yeah. yeah. Tiny bit, but oil was in an awful, awful, awful tight spot. And then to figure out which pipe it was. Where the other end of it went. Which end of it was. <laughs> follow you through. Yeah, you just wouldn't want to be rushing now. Yeah. I'm sure it's on the home straight now anyways, that's all yeah, that yeah, matters. Yeah, and got you a new present for your bailer as well. So. Yes, and there's a demo coming tomorrow. Oh, what's coming tomorrow? Well, you know what's coming. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, All right. that'll be a video at some point. Um, but yeah, there's a demo coming Cryptic tomorrow. Cryptic clue, yeah. Cryptic clue. We'll just stick it in. Also, just to put in as well, we'll be going to Longford Show this Sunday, the 2nd of July. Um, where is it? In any bags? It's in any bags, yeah. Any bags. Any bags. We'll live a leader, stick the air code on the screen or to be in the description anyways. Okay. Father Phil is going to the Fisherstown tractor run, leaving Ballybrehis at half one, half one on, on Sunday. Sunday in aid of Leash Hospice. Leash Hospice, very good cause. So you can check out Father Phil. You'll be pa you're driving a 1784 wheel I'm drive. I'm driving a 1784 wheel drive and I'll be down in Ballybrehis around half 11. With the 205. With the 205 GTI. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're double jobbing this weekend. Yeah, you're really, you're really yeah. stretching us out this weekend. That is what we're all doing on Sunday. Busy day Sunday. Busy day Sunday. But uh, you can and check us out either place. There'll be more information in the description down below. Live will stick it in we're there. We're getting out to see more of the people that's looking at us. Yes. yes. So um, we'll change the filters in the morning and then um, I'll film quick that. Quick look at that shaft I got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll look at it in the morning because I'm just about to run out of battery. But um, yeah, <laughs> not to, I feel that way myself. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, aye, because of the pipes are off. Should be working air out then. Looks all right. There's nothing coming down there. That's the place I'm not happy with. Oh, aye. We call it tight. I might just take it off in the morning and have a. Have a better look at it. Better look at it now. How are the old filters looking? Or? Oh, they're clean. They're clean. Oh, spotless. Yeah. Absolutely spotless. She's, she's tip top. She's tip top. That's it, just whack it back together now. Well, it's back. Like, I, I just have to uh, put the o ring on that was a little bit uh, tricky. Ah, it's gone square. Oh. You get a new O-ring. Yeah, I put a new O-ring on the yeah. side. That's really, really done though, it's just throw the tyre back on it, is it? Well, on this side, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there another filter on the other side? How are we looking now? Huh? Oh, the filter's changed now. Oh, the filter's changed. The filter's changed. The filter's changed. This is the last check over before the wheel goes on. Yeah. So, I suppose the only thing we can't do is when it gets warm to see, but we'll find out later. Those lips are around here, anyway. No. Hopefully, it's the last of them. Well, it wasn't bad up when it started. Yeah. But when it started, it wasn't long getting rid of it. The wheel's back on, tractor is running. Apart from whatever that oil was, there's no leaks. So Rory and Eric are just behind me putting on the demo onto the 7618. We may get using it later on this evening, or I think Bro's actually going to use it, which will, it's going to be a first. Bro is actually going to be using a demo machine before I do. So we'll just we'll have to go across to him. Bro, 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 how do you feel being entrusted with a demo? And if you break it, you have to pay for it. Ow. Ow. Uh, it'll be grand, brother. It'll be grand, so it'll he says. Be grand. Anyways, if we're going to. Anyway. Oh, will you not? Yeah. We're going to leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every.
Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday, no. Thursday, and Sunday, bro. You Close should enough. know it. Close enough. Anyways, that is it from us. Lots of stuff coming up. We have a lot of things. All of a sudden, there's a lot of shit coming down. But anyways, we're going to get done. Hope you enjoyed. That's it for me. Good luck.